I know about this piece is it's Nilok. It is um, called a humidor. And it's been in my dad's family. His mother had it in Elaine, Arkansas, because we're all from here. He remembers it as early as 1940. Indeed, this is a humidor. How can you tell it's a humidor? I, that I do not know. From the lid. So that is the dead giveaway of a humidor, is when you have a lid that is pierced and hollow, and you would be putting a sponge in there, a wet sponge, okay. that would keep the contents moist. We don't see a lot of Nilok humidors. The name Nilok is actually kaolin spelled backwards. <laughs> yeah. Kaolin is one of the most important ingredients when you're making pottery. Uh, okay. Nilok um, was in business in Benton, Arkansas. Correct. And um, they started doing this line, this particular line of hand-thrown, swirled, pieces of, of you know, all these different clays are together. There's mm -hmm. no glaze here. These are all right. clays that are swirled together and hand thrown. They started doing this in the teens, just early teens, about mm -hmm. 1910. And they did that for several decades and they ended probably at the end of the 30s. So this is a very nice example. And, and so sometimes you see them and they're a little bit more plain. They have fewer colors, but you have a good mix here of the blues and, and the sort of the, the coppery red and the ivory. It's very nice. These days, a nylo humidor like this, in this line, which is called Mission Wear, okay, mission um, wear. would probably go at auction for about four to six hundred dollars. Ten years ago, twenty years ago, it would have been more than that. Yeah. It may have been up to twice as much as that. 